to preserve the scene um, and relieve a community service officer who was standing there initially. Okay. Thank you, Officer Schneider. I don't have any questions beyond that. Thank you. Any cross, Mr. Brooks? Uh, yes. Um, Officer Schneider, um, it would be fair to say from the video footage that was shown that you were standing directly next to Officer Butcherin. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, for any reason, would you have being that you were so close next to him, not heard the same things that he heard? Objection, I think that calls for speculation. Grounds, grounds. Uh, calls for speculation. It's sustained. Next question. How long before you saw the approaching vehicle? I heard radio traffic about it uh, going past the barricades, and I would say it was a couple seconds later that we saw it coming down the street. Did you observe anyone being struck at that time? I did not. Did you observe anyone being struck after the vehicle passed you? I did not. Uh, would it be fair to say from the video footage that was shown that the vehicle passed you in maybe a second, if that? A second to two seconds, yes. Do you think that would be enough time to get a clear description of who was driving the vehicle? Yes, I do. And why do you believe that? Because I saw the driver very clearly. You saw the driver very clearly in one second? Yes, sir. And do you recall if the driver had hair? I do. Do you recall if the driver ha was wearing a hat? I don't recall that. Do you recall anything that the driver may have been wearing? No, I don't. Do you recall seeing anyone in the back seat? I couldn't see the back seat from my position. Why could you not see the back seat? Because there's front seats in the way. Were there any tinting to the vehicle that you saw? Not that I saw. So you saw no tinted windows at all on the vehicle? I do not recall seeing tinted windows. Would it be fair to say from the video that there was uh, a barricade set up at uh, the cross street of Buckley? Yes. Would it be also fair to say that you couldn't turn down Buckley Street because of the barricade? The street was barricaded. Could you make a turn down the street that was barricaded? You could make a turn, but it was barricaded. How can you make a turn on a barricaded street? How would you be able to do that? If a vehicle were to slow down, the barricade could be moved. So a vehicle would actually have to stop and then make the turn. That's correct. Were there any law enforcement officers posted at the barricade? On that side of the street near Buckley, we had a reserve officer, I believe. Do you recall if anyone, if any one of those officers or officer attempted to stop the vehicle? I couldn't tell you about that. Was there any report of the officer that was standing at that barricade to stop the vehicle? Again, I couldn't tell you about that. So to the best of your knowledge, only you and officer Butcherin attempted to stop the vehicle? To the best of my knowledge, yes. And there were other officers present? The other individual who was present is not a sworn patrol officer. Were they law enforcement? No, they're considered a reserve officer. Were they wearing any gear that may have identified them as an officer? 
I don't recall what that officer or that reserve officer was wearing. Can we show uh, Exit 17 again? Or Exhibit, sorry, excuse me, Exhibit 17? You want it published or just shown to the witness? Uh, I want it shown to the witness. Permission granted. Actually, can we show it to the whole court? Permission granted, it's been received. Well, before you play it, can you pause it? Before you play it, would it be fair to say that at that intersection that has uh, the red light facing towards the camera, that there is, in fact, someone who appears to be law enforcement standing right there? Objection vague. Sustained. Grounds. You, Rephrase. Would it be fair to say that someone standing at that intersection that appears to be wearing the same police vest attire that you are wearing? Objection vague. I Grounds. Think. Mr. Brooks can use the touch screen on his monitor as well, correct? Correct. I, I'm going to overrule the objection, I think. What he was asking is clear enough, so he may answer. There is an individual on the Buckley side of the intersection wearing a high-res traffic vest. Is it similar in any way to the vest that you are wearing? It appears to be so, yes. <coughs> so would it be fair to say that the appearance of them wearing the same attire as you, that they would be easily identified as law enforcement? I would go so far as to say that they would be at least highly visible to people, yes. Would someone who's not in the law enforcement field possibly for any reason mistake them as law enforcement? Possibly, yes. Can you play it just for just a couple of seconds so we can get a clear look at the individual that I'm referring to? Exactly how many seconds, Mr. Brooks? Um, I don't consent to being called that name, but two, maybe two or three seconds. <laughs> can pause at the three second mark, Your Honor. Thank you. Can you go back a second? Judge, it's not possible to jump back in one second, one second increments. Go back to the beginning, please. Right there. Ask your question. Do you know that individual right there? I don't recall who that was, no. Did you see them in, at any time attempt to stop the vehicle or redirect the vehicle? I did not observe that myself, no. You can take the exhibit down. You're done with this exhibit? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You can take it down, ma'am. Can you put up exhibit 18 for the court? <coughs> you just want this presented, not played at this moment? Just confirming with you. Um, it's probably, I'm probably going to play it too. We'll get it up first. For the, for the entire court. For the record, exhibit 18 is on the screens. Do you want it played, Mr. Brooks? Or do you have a question at this point? Yeah, I want it played, Your Honor, if okay. I may. Per the whole thing? Yes, ma'am. All right, permission granted. <laughs> Pause it right there. Would it be fair to say that that was just a horn that was heard? No, I don't hear a horn. You don't hear a horn? I do not hear a horn. 
Can we start there from the beginning? Sure. For the record, Mr. Brooks. Yeah, objection, objection. I do not consent to being called that name, Your Honor, nor do I identify by that name. The defendant has asked the video to be stopped. It was stopped at four seconds in. He's requested that it be replayed. Are you going to have the whole thing replayed or do you want it stopped again at four, four seconds? Uh, maybe around that same point. I'll wait till you say stop then. Okay. We'll make a record of it. Go ahead. Oh my god! Pause it. Would it be fair to say that that was not just a horn that was heard on this video? I will stick with my original answer on that. So your original answer would be that you did not just hear a horn on this video that was being played? That's correct. And for the record, it was stopped at six seconds. So would it be any reason that anyone else would have heard a horn? Objection, speculation. Sustained, Grounds. sustained calls for speculation on the part of this witness. Did you at any time um, get a chance to read the report by Officer Butcher who was standing right next to you during this event? I did not read his report. Did you have any conversation with him about what he may have observed or heard that evening? Can you clarify what you mean? Did you have any conversation with Officer Butcher about what he may have observed or heard on that evening? I believe that the evening uh, that later after uh, everything had calmed down, we, we had talked for a little bit. Did he state to you that he had heard a horn beeping at any time during your conversation? Objection here saying we've destroyed Grounds. the question. Grounds. Oh. Sustained. Calls for hearsay. Do you recall what the conversation was about when you talked? that evening? I can't recall specifics, no. Did you in any way talk about what had happened that evening at the parade? We, yeah, it would be about the parade, but I can't, again, tell you specifics of what we talked about. You don't recall? I've already answered that. But you're sure that you had some talks about with you may have seen. Objection. Repetitive. Grounds. Asked an answer. Sustained. Next question. Just so we're clear for the record. Um, from your recollection, would it be fair to say that Officer Butcherin saw the approaching vehicle before you did? Objection. Grounds. Speculation. Grounds. Sustained a calls for speculation on the part of this witness. Next question. At what point did you see the vehicle once it was past Officer Butcherin or before it had passed him? I saw the vehicle coming from the White Rock uh, location, so it was before the vehicle had even approached Officer Butcherin's location. Any reason why uh, you didn't move to attempt to stop the vehicle when Officer Butcher did? Yes, uh, we oftentimes in our line of work have uh, people meaning no ill will, uh, just disregard police barricades and other things. So initially I didn't know if the vehicle was being driven by somebody that was just simply distracted or lost or senile. I had no idea. So it would be fair to say that at the time you had uh, no idea what was going on with the vehicle and why it was there. At the time, what I knew was that someone had radioed that a car had disregarded our barricades to keep the parade route closed off. And you heard this on the radio, correct? 
On police radio, yes. So did you hear a car or did you hear an SUV? I don't recall the exact words that were used. It was a vehicle. Would it be fair to say that you just said that you heard a car over the radio? I don't recall the exact words. Would it be fair to say that it is extremely hard to compare a car with an SUV? Objection, argumentative. Grounds. Sustained. <laughs> Next question. Would you ever mistake a car in an SUV? Objection, argumentative. Grounds. Overruled, she may answer. I think I'm pretty good at knowing the difference. So when you heard the radio call, were you expecting a car or SUV? I was expecting a vehicle, red in color, to be coming my direction. Would it be fair to say that you before didn't state the color of the vehicle that you were expecting? Vague, Your Honor, objection. as to Grounds. when she may Grounds. or may not. Mr. Brooks, hold on. Let her state the objection. Questions vague as to when she may or may not have indicated the color of the car, Your Honor. Grounds. Uh, I'll sustain the objection. Please rephrase. It's, it's sustained as to the form of the question. At any time during the radio um, report, was there any report of the color of the vehicle, as you say, in the report that you heard over the radio? The exact color of the vehicle over the radio, I do not recall hearing. I know that I saw a red SUV coming from White Rock. Would it be fair to say that you heard the radio call before you saw the vehicle? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I heard it before I saw it. So would it be fair to say that you couldn't have known what the color of the vehicle would be and what vehicle was being referred to? There was only one vehicle on the parade route um, from what I saw. Um, Were there any uh, radio reports that the, ve the vehicle has struck anyone at that time that you heard? No, I didn't hear anyone say that the vehicle had struck anyone. Was there any reports at that time over the radio that you heard of a description of who may have been driving the vehicle? No, I don't recall a description coming out over the radio prior to me seeing the vehicle come across my path. So would it be fair to say that the radio report was pretty vague? Objection argumentative. Grounds. Sustained. Were there any reports that you know of, rather by radio or from people who were present in your area that you were, that they may have heard honking from the vehicle that approached. Objection, speculation. Grounds. Um, overruled. The way it was phrased, he asked if she had any information. So she may answer. I don't have any information about honking. Can you recall about what time you saw the approaching vehicle? I don't know the exact time, no. Uh, were you injured in any way by the vehicle? I was not injured. So it would be fair to say that you haven't filed a claim in this matter, correct? Objection irrelevant. Grounds. I'm overruled. She may answer. I have not filed a claim for this. So it will be also fair to state that you are, are not an injured party in this matter, correct? Objection asked and answers. 
um, sustained. Could you state for the record who subpoenaed you to testify in this matter today? The state. And when you say the state, uh, who are you referring to exactly? The state of Wisconsin. To the best of your knowledge, being in law enforcement for some time, Have you ever had any interaction with the state whatsoever? Objection, irrelevant, vague. Grounds. Sustained. Next question. Did you physically talk to the state about testifying here this morning? Objection. Grounds. Vague and irrelevant. Grounds. Do you mean to ask her if she spoke with the DA's office? Did she speak to the plaintiff? Sustain. Next question. How long have you known the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Grounds. Sustain. Next question. Have you read the complaint in this matter? To your recollection? I have. Um I believe I've skimmed it over. I haven't read it in its entirety. Would it be any reason why you didn't read the complaint in its entirety? Objection, irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. Did you have any idea that you may be called to testify in this matter? Um, I, I did see it as a possibility, yes. So it would be fair to say that if you knew that it was a possibility that you may be called to testify, would it be fair to say that it would be best to acquire all the knowledge that you can acquire before testifying? Objection, argumentative. Grounds. Sustained. Are you aware that all police departments are funded by the state of Wisconsin? Objection, irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. If you weren't testifying here this morning, would you be on duty? Yes, I would be. Is that why you came in uniform? Yes, it is. So it would be fair to say that right now you're on the clock? Yes, I am. Being paid by whom? By the city of Waukesha. Is the city of Waukesha in the state of Wisconsin? Yes, it is. And who funds the Waukesha Police Department? Objection. You're Grounds. Right. Sustained. During your attempt to stop the vehicle, do you recall the vehicle trying to strike anyone? I did not see the vehicle deviating in any way, no. Do you recall it trying to strike anyone? I think it hasn't answered, Your Honor. Sustained. By, by you saying that you didn't see the vehicle deviate, can you clear, clarify for the record what that means, in your opinion? When I saw the vehicle coming towards my direction, it was driving in a straight line. So, would it be fair to say that that does not clarify what you mean by deviate? Objection. That's argumentative, sustained. But to the best... As far as you recall, you didn't see or hear that the vehicle has struck anyone. That'd be fair to say? That's been asked and answered, Your Honor. Grounds. Sustained.
do you know of any uh, cross streets before you attempted to stop the vehicle that may have been barricaded? We had uh, barricades up in the area of White Rock Avenue. Um, I wasn't up there at any point in time, so I couldn't give you the exact location of every barricade. But you do know that there were uh, pretty much barricades throughout the parade route, would that be fair to say? Yes, we needed to secure it. Do you know of any uh, attempts to stop the vehicle before it came to the area that you were in? Well, I personally observed Officer Butrin attempt to stop the vehicle. Do you know of any attempts to stop the vehicle before the vehicle approached your area? Based on the radio traffic I heard, um, it sounded like uh, officers had attempted at that time, but I didn't see it, so I couldn't say for certain. So it would be fair to say that you don't recall? Objection. That's Grounds. not fair to say, Your Honor. It's Grounds. a misstatement of her testimony. Grounds. Sustain it mischaracterizes the testimony. So to the best of your knowledge, um, Officer Butchering was the first person that you observed attempting to stop the vehicle. That's correct. And then yourself. That is correct. With no injuries. Can you clarify, please? You, Officer Butchering, or you were not injured in your attempt to stop the vehicle? I believe that's correct. You believe that was correct? I don't recall Butrin complaining of any injuries, so I couldn't say for certain. Were you yourself injured? I have already answered that. stated that you uh, skimmed through the complaint uh, for this matter. Would that be fair to say? Objection asked and answered. We need to move on to a new topic, Your Honor. Grounds. Sustained. It's been asked and answered. We need a new topic, what? Mr. Brook, under 90611. I'm directing you to move on. I'm just trying to find out what would be the reason not to read the whole complaint. That's all. Irrelevant, uh, so, uh, so grounds. There's no question. Did you hear of any uh, incident at Frank Park? Objection asked and answered. I didn't ask this week. Overruled, she may answer. I did answer that earlier in my testimony. You may answer it again. Okay. Please. I heard uh, that there was a man knife call, is how it came out, potentially in Frame Park. Um, at any point that evening, did you follow up on that report? I did not. Uh, do you, to the best of your knowledge, do you know if, uh, are you aware of any officer following up on that report? The officers that were dispatched to that call, of which I don't recall who they were, would have been in charge of that. Did you learn any any information about a knife being found? I did not.
to the best of your knowledge, do you recall any domestic dispute coming over the radio? At what point in time? Um, the evening during the parade, November 21st. I don't recall specifically a, the, don't, the terms domestic being used over the radio in any way, no. To the best of your knowledge, do you recall uh, a vehicle being found on Maple Street? Yes, I do recall. Um, did you respond there directly or do you know if... Oh, let me take that back. Did you respond there directly? No, I did not. Do you recall what that report uh, was saying over the radio? Objection, Bay. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. It's also beyond the scope of the direct exam. Um, unless you have information, she was involved in that. Mr. Brooks, move on. Would you estimate the speed was of the vehicle you attempted to stop? Objection. Asked and answered. Sustained. I don't recall asking the speed. This witness has answered about speed multiple times, but if you want her to state was it again, overruled. You may answer. I said approximately 30 to 40 miles per To the best of your knowledge, would, would there be any reason why an officer standing right next to you would not estimate it at that speed? Objection. Argumentative. It's argumentative and it calls for speculation on the part of this witness, so it's sustained. Do you know of any officers that was in your vicinity that gave a speed estimate of the vehicle you attempted to stop? Objection irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. No more further questions. All right, thank you. Any redirect? Uh, very briefly, uh, Officer Schneider, on cross-examination, you told Mr. Brooks, that you saw the driver of the vehicle quite clearly. Do you remember that? Objection. I do not consent to being called that name, and I would respectfully ask not to be identified with an unknown <laughs> individual. Your objection is noted. It's overruled. Go ahead. Do you see the driver of the red SUV in the courtroom here today, Officer Schneider? Objection. I do. Hearsay. Overruled. She may answer. I'd ask Mr. Brooks be directed to remove his mask so that Officer Schneider can identify him, please. Objection. I never heard an uh, answer to the question. It has not been answered, Mr. Brooks. Uh, please remove your mask. Thank you. Officer Schneider, is the driver of the red SUV that you've just described for this jury present in this courtroom today? Objection. Yes. You're saying. Can you please point him out by where he's seated and what he's wearing? He is seated over here at the table wearing a gray suit. That's the man you saw driving the red SUV as it sped past you? Yes, it is. Thank you. I don't have any other questions. On the issue of identification only, do you have any questions for this witness? Yes, I do. Um, you did state that you saw the driver of the vehicle and it had the driver had hair and you stated brown eyes and brown hair, correct? That is what I said. 
you also stated that you can see somewhat what they was wearing by hat or that's incorrect i did not say that so you were able to see the driver of the vehicle's entire head I was able to see hair, which is what I have said previously. Would it be fair to say that the alleged defendant that you just identified on the record for the court does not have hair? You have shaved your head, yes. Would it be fair to say that you have not seen the alleged defendant shave his head? Objection. Relevance. Grounds. Overall, she may answer. I presume you mean the act of. The act of. I have not witnessed him actively shaving his head. So would it be fair to say that, to the best of your knowledge, you do not know, in fact, if the alleged defendant shaved his head? I am looking at the individual who was driving the SUV and he now has a shaved head. That doesn't answer the question. It does. Next question. And you stated eye color, correct? Yes. Can you see the alleged defendant's eye color from where you are sitting? I cannot. No further questions. All right, thank you. You may step down. May this witness be excused, Your Honor? She may. Thank you. Well, we're going to take our lunch break now. I have information that the lunch for the jurors will be up in about 10 minutes. So rather than start a witness just to take a break around that time, we'll take our lunch now. It will be at least an hour, uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, but I'd ask the parties be back in an hour and then also advise the judge.